Hey guys, hey it's Mr. Lindy here and uh, today we're going to talk about solving long division but we're going to solve long division using the base 10 blocks and it's a model uh, method and it can be pretty confusing so what I want to do is I want you to look at it two different ways. We're going to do an activity in class to learn this better but for right now, I just want you to take a look and maybe give the next couple of try as we're done. But first, I'm going to show you a base 10, what it looks like. So as you see the base, these would be base 10 blocks. Normally, the 100, you would see it would have, they're the, the uh, yellow squares that are in our room, but on uh, uh, this program, it's blue. And that, that represents 100 squares. Okay, then you see the yellow one right below it, right down here, and this one represents 10. And then you see the below the little square, and that represents 1. So we're going to use actually these pieces to show you how to do a long division problem. Okay, so if you look at this one, if you look at it, this would be 100. These each are 10. And that's one and that's one. So if you put it all together, you would have 132. So now my problem is going to be is I'm going to see how many times 11 goes into 132. Now, I know a lot of you know your multiplication facts, and that's good because you may need it. You're definitely going to uh, need it for this. But uh, let me just show you how this works. So basically, you start with the 100, and we have it setting right where it's at you see that i can move it around a little bit i'm gonna move it right there and i'm gonna stop okay there's my hundred i have that one set now what happens is this is where you get confused and until you do it tomorrow you may not understand this but each there are 10 rows of 10 inside of this blue square now what i need to do is make rows of 11. so the way that i'm gonna make rows 11 is i'm gonna take this yellow one right here and i'm gonna turn it sideways and then I'm going to move it under here. So now what do I have? I have 10 rows of 11. Okay, so there's, I'm making groups of 11, if you would see, because we're doing 132 divided by 11. The next thing I'm going to do, I still have 22 left over here. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to move it over here real close. And I'm going to take one of the ones and put it underneath. That's a group of 11. And then I'm going to take this one and move it right next to it, and I'm going to take the ones over here, and now I have my answer. Believe it or not, I can have the answer to 132 divided by 11. And what I do is there are 10 groups of 11 right here. Then there's one group of 11 here and one group of 11 here. If I add all of those together, I'll have my answer. So 10 plus 1 plus 1 equals 12. And the answer to 132 divided by 11 is 12. So... I know it's confusing. We're going to be doing that tomorrow together. So that's no big deal. Um, so let's check out the freehand version. This means that basically we're going to draw it. So as you can see, I drew it down here. I drew the square, the square right here. The square equals 100. Then you see this little line. That equals 10. And then I do some type of dot or circle sometimes, and that equals 1. So I'm going to use those to answer a few other questions here. So you see when I turn a page here, you will see what uh, problems we have. And we'll try to solve them. Okay, first one. That was, so I will show you 132 divided by 11, the way that freehand looks. Okay, you, you just saw it with, uh, with the squares and the base 10 blocks, but now I'm going to draw it out. So there's 100, then I'm going to draw 30, and then I'm going to draw 2. Okay, so now right below it, all I want you to do is just, we need to figure out the answer. So what I usually do is I work with the group 100, and I put that one down first. So I have 10 groups of 10 right there, and I need to make groups of 11. So that gets crossed off because I used it. And now I'm going to go up, and I'm going to cross off one of the, the longs, and I'm going to turn it this way. Now it shows that I have... 10 groups of 11, and then I need to take, get rid of this one and bring it down here. That's a, a group of 10, and I'm going to get rid of one of the circles and make it a group of 11. 
and then I'm going to take this next one and I'm going to put it here and I'm going to get rid of the next circle and now I have groups of 11. If you count it, there's 10 groups of 11. Here's one group of 11, one group of 11 and that equals, if you add them all together, that equals 12. That's the answer to that. Okay, so I know, I'm, I, don't, I do not know if you're going to get it right away. I know we're going to uh, have to do this quite a bit for you to uh, see what the answers are. Okay, 156 divided by 12. Let's check this one out. So first things first, I want to draw 156, so a square, and then five of these, and then six singles. Okay, now this is what I'm going to use to do my problem. So I have to make groups of 12, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 10 groups of 10 and bring it down here, and I cross it out up there. Now to make groups of 12, I'm going to take this one and turn it sideways and put it under. Now I have 10 groups of 11. Now I'm going to take another one and I'm going to put it under there. Now I have 10 groups of 12 right there. Now I have to use what's left and make my other 12s. So I'm going to take this one, set it right here, and then two circles. One, two, there's a group of 12. Then I'm going to take my next one and these other two and make groups of 12. And then finally, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make groups of 12. So there we go. I've used them all. And now we get to count to see what our answer is. So here's group of 10, 10 groups of 12 there. And then here's one, here's one, and here's one. So 10 plus 1 plus 1. And our answer is 13. So our actual, our, our uh, answer to this division problem, 156 divided by 12 is 13. Okay? Let's move on. This one is 195 divided by 13. So you have 195. Let's draw it out. Make square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now this one has a couple tricks that you have to do to get to the answer, but I'd like to show you this first, and then tomorrow when we work on it, you'll de then you'll be able to see it for yourself with the base 10 blocks, but let's see how this one works. Okay, so I need to make groups of 13. Get rid of the... The 10 groups of 10 first, and then this one, this one, and this one. There's 10 groups of 13, okay? Next, I need to take this one, and what I do is I try to get rid of them all first. So that one, and then one, two, and three are gone. One, two, three. Now, this is where all of a sudden you go, uh, Mr. Wendy, there's not a group of 13. I don't know how to do it. What you need to do is, I call it cashing them in or taking them to the bank. I'm going to take away this one that I'm scribbling right now, this 10, and instead of a instead of a long like that, I'm going to make it into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And all I did was I cashed them in place value wise. Those 10 dots are the same thing as one of those longs. Okay. Now we can go back to our problem, and I'm going to get rid of this one. Put it here in three of these. One, two, three. Okay, go to the next one. One, two, three. And then I'm going to get rid of this one. We go one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and finally the last one and the last three. You go one, two, three. Okay, so now all we have to do is count. You have 10, group of 10, 10 groups of 13 there, then one group of 13, one group of 13, one group of 13, one group of 13, one group of 13. 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Our answer is 15. 15, so 195 divided by 13 is 15. It's awesome. And to check them, you can always go and say 15 times 13, does it equal 195? And yes, it does. So pretty awesome. Uh, problems. And then here's a nice challenge. All of a sudden you go, well, I knew the next question that was going to come from you guys was going to be, well, what if I have 200? Well, here you go. 200, 20, 4. And I got it divided by 14. So we're going to make groups of 14. 
Okay, so same old, same old. Let's get rid of this one and put it down here because we're going to get our 10 groups of 10. And now I need to make 14, but if you look over to the right, I don't have anything to make any longs or I don't have enough longs. So basically, I'm going to chop up this one and 10 longs equals 1 100. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 of those. Now we can start doing it. So I'm going to, so I got to make my group of 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are all gone. 1, 2, 3, 4 are underneath. Okay. There's 10 groups of 14. Now I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to get rid of the four ones. One, two, three, four. Now, what, what you look at, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left, and I still need to make 14. So let's go ahead and get rid of one of these and make ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we can keep drawing again. One, two, three, four, because we're still making groups of 14. And I do this until they're gone. Then that one goes. And then one, two, three, four. And then you look up, and I can't make another 14, so I'm going to get rid of another 10 and put 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and now here we go. We have a few up. There's four of those. One, two, three, four. Get rid of those. Take this one. And then get rid of four. One, two, three, four. Basically, I'm taking them here and I'm putting them down. I didn't cross off one. So then, and then this one, and then one, two, three, four. Here you go one, two, three, four. So your answer, 224 divided by 14 equals, there's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 10 plus one plus one plus one plus one. And you have 16. So let's check it. Just, just to have some fun and go back and work on our multiplication, let's say 16 times 14, and we'll see if it equals 224. 4, area 2, 64, 0, 6, 1, 4, 2, carry 1. 224. So we are right. Our answer is 16. All right, guys, I know this is a longer, a little bit longer video. We're about 13 minutes, but uh, try to give these a try. Tomorrow, we're going to do an activity all together and uh, check these out. So have a good night. See you later, guys.